Hello, friends. Today we present to you the metal medium. This product will allow you to transform any of your third generation paints into a metallic paint. As you can see, we have already put a couple of drops of black paint on our wet palette. Now we will also add a couple of drops of metal medium. This is the basic combination for creating silver colors. So, after we mix the two colors together, we have created a metallic color that will be perfect for painting, for example, artillery shells. A great way to obtain the ideal color is to add a metal medium gradually, little by little. And remember that this product does not replace dilution. You will still need to add a bit of water or thinner to the mixture. As a rule of thumb, the third generation metallic paints work great if you dilute them with 10% of thinner or water. If what we want to do is to highlight our metals, we just need to add a bit of metal medium to the mixture. This will lighten the tones and make the paint appear brighter. This product will come very handy, for example, for working on armor or models that contain a lot of metal, because it will offer a great range of options when it comes to choosing the colors. We will be able to completely adapt the color to our needs and modulate it as we see fit. Keep in mind that when working with metallic paints, it's very important to respect the drying time. If we don't and we paint over the same area repeatedly while it's still wet, it could result in lumps. Our possibilities don't end with the black paint and the metal medium. Let's now see how we can create, for example, gold paint. For this, we'll use the Japanese brown and, of course, the metal medium. As you can see, the process is exactly the same as before. We'll mix together the paint and the metal medium depending on the tone we want to obtain and then we apply it onto our model. Remember that it's more difficult for lighter colors to cover a black surface, so it will be necessary to apply a couple of coats to obtain good coverage. Another thing to consider is that metallic paints show better on a darker surface, so keep this in mind when working on your projects. So now we have seen how we can create both silver and gold paint, so let's now try to create our own bronze color. For this mixture we'll use the cadmium red, and again the procedure is the same as before. Now we know how to create the most commonly used metallic paints, however, this product is much more versatile than that. So let me explain something to you. As we said before, the metal medium serves to transform any paint into metallic paint. And on top of that, it allows us to create in a very simple way color value scale. We only need to keep adding the metal medium into the mixture in order to make the color lighter. This will be very useful when using techniques such as true metallic metal on our models since it will allow us to create an intermediate tone very easily, which will help us smooth out the transitions. But, as we said, this metal medium makes it possible to take any third-generation acrylic color and turn it into a metallic color. For example, we're going to transform this dark blue into this metallic blue. And to do this, we just need the metal medium, and of course the paint of your choice, in our case it's the dark blue. We'll use the wet palette and place a couple of drops of the metal medium on one side and the dark blue on the other. We'll start mixing them together, adding more of the paint or the medium depending on the tone we are trying to obtain. Once we have found the appropriate base color, we'll lighten it more and more until we achieve the desired results. So now that you know how easy it is to create your own metallic paints from the acrylic paint you already have at home, what are you waiting for? If you haven't yet, go ahead and start experimenting with the metal medium.